Oh, there he is. He's just taking advantage of me like I'm a cheap hussy. No, somebody was asking the question. All right. So this is what we were looking at last, what we did last time. The lecture notes are in the announcements. Hopefully you were typing them last time. Uh, we're going to build on that. So we had, we had some things we wanted to do. Uh, we had, let's make a tail pointer. I kind of want to do that last. I want to do, I want to try to just uh, add in the middle and maybe add in the front. Let's do add in the middle, add in the front. Maybe start with add in the front. Uh, look at deleting and then we'll shift to tail. Cause well, like most don't do like the tail thing. And so like adding that in is just like some flavor text. And actually I think it looks better. It's easier to find shit. <laughs> so let's start with, uh, add like, what did I name this shit? I add get tail and, or set tail, set head. Uh, That's maybe a weird name for it, but I guess it works. Uh, we might adapt this name as we put in a tail pointer. So we're going to start with step one, add front node, and then two, add middle node, and then three, maybe look at deleting a node, but not the whole thing. Then we'll take a look at like the tail, that tail. Sound good? What is that fucking bracket? Oh, this is all in that class thing. Okay, so all we got in our thing is node head and we've got set and get. So we were talking about, let's do, we're gonna, so these will be ac not accessor methods, but utility methods, things we can do. Uh, we wanna do, add or maybe call it change head node add front node let's go to that add node front let's see that so maybe we're taking in the node pointer there and this shouldn't actually return anything right so this should be a void That seems about right, right? All right, let's copy this down below. Our class is called our linked list, so that's what we're going to need to put in front of it. So right after our accessor methods, we will jump it right here. And then we got that going on. We need to scope resolution operate that some bitch. And let's think about what we're going to do. So picture time. I like having those numbers over there. So let's do that. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. How do I make this go further out? Okay. So we gotta simulate a node here. What did, we, what did we build last time? What does our train look like? Our linked list, what was in it? We have, oh, we had A, B, C, D. Okay, so that's what we got. So let's simulate like on paper what's going on there. So we've got, this is a, B and it's called head, right? Just head pointer or is it, what do we call it? It's just head. Ah, I see. Okay. Really? What do you see? Where are we at? Right there. We're right there. Okay. So this was head. And it's a pointer. 
Uh, and this was pointing to CD. And I think that's enough for now. And so we want to say, okay, we want to add something in the front of it. So we are going to pass in a red one. I'll call, we'll make this a red one. This is the one going in. Let's say it's got, it can be a string, but have numbers in it. We're going to say 007. James Bond is getting passed in. So this is our arg node being passed in. And it's a pointer to it. So we got an arg node pointer to it. And it comes in with a null pointer right there. So what do we need to do? We should take this. Step one looks like redirect the incoming next node or whatever the fuck we called it. What did we call it? Set next next pointer. So we had get next pointer and set next pointer. Uh, God, that's kind of long. You know what? Yeah, fuck it. We'll leave it. Uh, so we want to redirect the next pointer to head. So that'll be step one. That'll change this to look like this. And then step two would be set head to our hard node. That actually looks like that might be pretty easy. So drawing a picture kind of really like helps go, what do I got to connect? Because step one is this, step two is that. And now, now we would have 007 pointing to AB, pointing to C and, and onward. That, and this would be head. So that's what we want to accomplish in our stuff here. Uh, we also want to accommodate there you go. We also want to accommodate an empty node. Just in case. Okay, so uh, we have a node coming in. Uh, uh, so let's say temp node pointer temp equals arg node. And we're going to say temp dot set next. We want that to be the head pointer. And we're already in there. Uh, I guess the cleaner way would be get head. But we should we could have just put head there. Uh, but this is using our accessor methods. So that should be step one on the paper. And then step two was make arg node head node. So we're gonna say set head to temp. That should be it. Now we want to accommodate, does that make sense for adding a node in the front? Like putting a new one, like bumping the old node that was in the front, making it second place. We got a new top dog. Now we should accommodate for like it being empty. So if get head equals null PTR, 
then all we need to do is do just do the set headline. Is that does that work for you guys? Oh, and then we'll hit return. We want to return there. Although I think we could clean this up. Because we got set head twice. And the only thing we don't want happening in case it's there is this. But let's make sure this works first. I think we, we can refactor this down to be much cleaner. Let's give it a try. Oh. I guess I need to do something in the main. So we're going to do my list, add node front, and do new node 007. Just seeing if this works. So where did it disappear? Because I don't see it there. So maybe that printed before I did it. No. Nope. We don't need that anymore. So head pointer equals new node. Oh, it's head pointer. Is it? No. It's just head. <coughs> oh, head pointer is what I put in here. Okay. So maybe our print string list isn't doing what we want it. Because it's not recognizing this. Right, because this is not the head pointer. And that's not part of the code. This head pointer thing is not part of the code. Maybe we shouldn't be doing head pointer. Maybe we should be doing my list dot get head. In fact, I'm gonna replace that and then if it's anywhere else, it's not. <clears throat> Let's see if that works. Does that make sense? I think that's going to give us our 007 there. There it is. Uh, and maybe we should make this a method. Let's add that, that, or that might be one of your homework assignments, right? Make this a method, I think is one of your homework assignments. I think there's something about do it in reverse as well. All right, let's see what else we got here. Oh, clean it up. Let's clean it up. Right there. That's our last one. So we're cleaning up this one. Okay, so... What if we did, I'm gonna comment this out for a second. Motherfucker, it's not showing up. I gotta go full screen for it to show up there, there we go. What if we did something like this? If get head does not equal null pointer. Then do temp set next pointer equals get head. Because we wanted set head to happen either way. And the only line that was like, we don't want it to happen was if there was a null pointer. So maybe, maybe we just say only do it if it's not a null pointer. That would get rid of this entire 
if thing and not have set head listed twice. We don't need a return. We had four, we had six lines of code and we can shrink it down, well, seven lines of code. We can shrink it down to four. That seems like a good cut. I don't know if that's gonna work though. I, th I think it will. Let's run it and check it. What's the best thing about computer science? You can fucking try and find out. The results are right. Oh, fuck off. Don't do that. We saw it. It had the 007. Okay, so that worked. All right. Let's do another one. Let's do add mid node. While I'm down here, I will just copy this down here and say add node mid. Middle. And I need to put this up front as a prototype. Let's go prototype that real quick. Utility methods. Utility, there's my utility methods. Get rid of our scoping. All right, so let's come down here and start reasoning some shit out on paper. Cause there's gonna be some fucking gymnastics here. So let's just do it between A, B and C, D. So right now, or add mid node or add node middle, this is what we're looking at. What do we start with? We are starting with head is pointed to A, B. And I'm going to do a long gap here and show this is pointing to CD. And CD is pointing on it. I'm putting that gap in there because we're going to have to take in an arg node. So we want arg node to go here. What shall we put in our node? What kind of hefe? We're going to put in hefe. Okay. So we want, what's the first thing we need to do? Well, what needs to be done before we can connect anything else? We need to, before I can connect, because remember, as soon as I change an arrow, it's gone. We need to do that and we need to do that. If I do this one first, I cut this thing and I lose access to CD. Does that make sense? So we don't want to do, this needs to be second. It has to be second because if we do it first, we lose the rest of our, our linked list, which means we need to do that one first. So first one is temp next, whatever the hell that is. Oh, well, how do I know where to tell it to go in? How do I know it needs to go after AB or before CD? We gotta have to have a way to search, right? Or there's no way, like, I, I don't want to hard code in, put this after A, B. So maybe delay of game. Let's delay this. Let's look for a search node, search for node. Or search, search list for string value. So if this is a method, we want it to return 
a pointer to one of them. And we could probably make it a void, send nothing in. Nope, we gotta have something in. We need to tell it what it's searching for. So maybe we'll make this a string argument. Does that seem like something that will do good? Now the question is, and we need to decide before we get started, do we want this to be a b or c d and which is better like there's a lot of fucking pen and paper for a computer class right but like drawing this shit out really like helps go like what do i need to do otherwise you're gonna like uh i don't know let me fucking go look it up and generate no original thought, no thought for yourself. Don't do that. Try to reason this shit out. You can always look this shit up, find out ways to do it. But then you're not learning how to do it yourself. And if you go work for, if you want to be a computer scientist, they're not paying you to look for on Geeks for Geeks. They're paying you to be able to think on your own quickly and do the shit that needs to get done. So let's start building that skill now. So let's not look up how to do it. Let's just reason out how to do it. Uh, but we're going to need a search... Search method. I said search, for, search list for value in case you want to templatize it later. We don't want to call it like for string. Let's just call it for value. <laughs> so before we do that, uh, there doesn't need to be anything in it. Uh, we need to do a node pointer return. And we're going to have our linked list. I'm going to just copy this and edit it real quick. Our linked list search. I don't even need search for value. Let's call it search for value. And it doesn't take in a node right now. It takes in a string arg. We could tell it to look for a node pointer, but then if someone was trying to search the list for an item, they're not going to search the list for a pointer. They're just going to say, where the fuck is my, my word, right? We're going to say, where is my item? So that seems like this is going to be the way we want to do it. Uh, need some shit going on there. And we need to scope this up or prototype it up above. Oh. So question. Which node do we want to return? You guys want to do it after A, B or after or before C, D? Let's not just jump into a, a, a choice. Let's think about what the coding would look like if we did it either way. If we go with A, B, let's check out both options. Do that. Get this right there. There we go. So both both options. Uh, return a b pointer. A pointer to a b. So if we're going through it, and we're searching for it, uh, and I'm trying to think up here. We're not doing the search. I'm trying to think right here. If we do CD, if we return CD, what would our code look like? We'd be returning this, but we'd have this thing. And we want to connect this arrow here, which means accessing the one before it, which means maybe doing CD is not a good choice. Maybe doing AB, if I do AB, I immediately know, put in my FA node right after it. But if I do return CD, I need to put FA node before it. And how do I connect 
preview, how do I connect Hefe in? I can connect Hefe to CD, but I don't know how to, I'm already past AB. You know what I mean? So I could do it. I'd have to go through the whole list again and go, when is next pointer the CD? And then we say, okay, stop here. That's where we'll add it. I think doing A, B is the way to go. So uh, let's just make a little note. Returns node prior to placement of new node. And I'll put that down in the implementation as well. It's good to see it there. Uh, let's come down and find it. Where is it? Right here. So that's what we're wanting right there. And it's already part of our linked list. So uh, rather than working with the list itself, let's Let's work with a, a temporary list by doing node temp equals get head. And now we've got access to the entire list. Uh, we wanna have our good old, if temp equals null pointer, we want to just get the fuck out, uh, see out. Well, we are searching for a value, so we should say something. See out no value found. Returning null pointer. Because we got to return a pointer, so we'll return the null pointer. So this is if this is our empty list case. Always good to address this right away. Kind of like a base case with recursive, but it's not. All right, so assuming it's not it, we want to do while, we want it to go through a loop until it finds it. So we were like, we might have to go to the very last one. It may not be in the middle. It might be the very last one. So we want to do like, and we might have to go while temp does not equal null pointer or temp dot next. We'll have to think about that and look, does not equal null pointer. I need some parentheses here. Uh, so we're just checking each node to see if it's got the value, right? If temp dot get get item, if that equals arg. We want to return temp because we're pointing out the, pointing at the right thing, right? Because we we like so whatever we're searching for, we're adding after it, and we may not even want the C out because I don't I don't know. We'll see. Uh, otherwise, maybe I'll put that in braces, even though we don't need the braces. I think a lot of students like it better when we have it, especially in the beginning. Uh, so if temp is get item, we turn temp, else we cycle. Temp equals temp dot get next pointer.
Okay, so will this, oh wait, that's not a comparison operator, that's an assignment operator. There we go. Will this cover the last one? I don't know, let's, let's like, let's say CD is the last one. I think I went all the way up to KL, but let's say, for example, CD ends it. It's the null, null terminal. So while, while temp dot get next pointer, like AB on this, next pointer is not null, so it's going to do this. And when temp gets to this, temp is going to jump to CD. And so in the CD loop, this won't trigger. So we kind of got to do one more, do this once more. You got to have one after the three case. This covers the last node. And we can confirm that by doing a little comment block. And then if it doesn't, else we're gonna return null pointer. And maybe we should like tell the user that. Value not found. Does that make sense? So we got the A, B, the C, D, our default one. A, B will make the jump. But when we get to C, D, get next pointer equals null. So it won't run through that while loop for C, D. No what I do, I can't get them both up here on the screen very well. That just searches for it. Maybe before we do our add node middle, let's test the search function. Let's just come up here and go uh okay we've done all this my list dot search for value we're gonna search for ef this is going to return a pointer an address right so this isn't going to tell me anything unless i do c out This is to see if anything's there. Fuck. Wrong keys. And maybe we will add a line here, testing, testing search function. EF found at Is that the wrong line? I need to do the backward space one, don't I? There you go. Let's see if it finds EF. Got to make sure our search function works. It did. Found it. All right. Let's see if it finds the last node. Found the first node. The last node is KL. So let's change this to KL and let's have it search for KL. Let's make sure it works for KL. It found KL, excellent. So the question is, do I need that last little bit right down there? 
let's come find my my search method do i need this let's comment this out and try to find kl now they gave us some bullshit zero 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 that's not a fight there's no way that's got to be the null pointer So we do need that in there. That's definitely doing it. Okay, so our search method works. Now we want to add node middle. <coughs> so uh, we need to tell it to what, to where to place it after. So we're gonna add to this. We're gonna say string arg. And I got to change it up top because we got to, this is going to use the search method. So we need to have it up there as well. Okay. Back to our picture. This is what we're looking at right now. That's what we're looking at. So we're going to send in half A, which means we need to first, not first, first we'll say, cross that out, first is find AB. Second, so find AB first. Second is uh, temp.next equals, nope, not temp.next, because this is arg node, wherever we're at is temp. Arg node next. Pass equal, our temp will be at pointing at AB, temp.next. That's my shorthand for get next pointer. That will be this step right here. So find it is step one. Step two is connect that. Step three is temp will be pointed here. We want temp.next to equal arg node. Because arg node's pointed there. So we want temp to point there. But first we gotta get that one to point to the previous one. Does that reasoning make sense? All right, let's do that on paper. Or not on paper, we did it on paper. Let's do that in the computer. Uh, so we got to we got to start off. We got to need, need our node pointer. Node pointer temp equals get head. This is always a great way to go. Don't want to fuck with the original list. So we'll well, I guess we still are. I don't want to I don't want to change get head and stuff. So we use a temporary pointer to cycle through the list. First off, we need to is that what I want? That's not really want. I don't want it to get head. I want it to do the search for value. I want it to return the position of AB. Right? So this should return a pointer to AB, the way we did on paper. Or should return a pointer to the node before insertion point. But like we said before, we should check to see if it's, there's a null pointer in here first. 
So like maybe, maybe that isn't what I want to do. Maybe we do that after we check for the null pointer. So maybe we say node pointer dot temp equals get head and check to see if this is an empty list. Does that make sense? So if temp equals null pointer, see, uh, I'm doing a see, uh, although we just, this is for coding purposes uh, or teaching purposes. Well, getting the code to work. We don't want this in there afterwards. See how uh, empty list. And we'll hit return, get out of there. All right, that's our disclaimer of getting out of there. Then we might as well recycle the temp pointer. We already got a pointer. We don't need to use get head. So we're gonna reassign temp to search for value. This is step one of what I was doing on paper. Step one on paper. Step two on paper. We need to, I said arg node dot get next, well, arrow pointer. We want, no, I want not get, but set. Set next pointer equal to temp. Uh, get next. Does that accomplish what I was trying to say for line two? Motherfucker, I like the spaces in there so I can read it a little clearer. So arg node, not really next, but we want to set arg node's next pointer to CD, which is temp's next pointer. That seems like what we want to do. So I'll let it crunch it down again. There we go. And then step three. We want to do temp dot set next or arrow pointer. And I want to set that equal to arg node. I want it to point to arg node. And that's what we had listed for free. So maybe we, so we have, we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, Maybe we should insert hefe after ij, so it's alphabetical. So let's do hefe after ij, just so we keep it in order here. I only did wrote a, b, and c, d initially because do I really need to write fucking seven nodes on the screen just to get the idea of inserting in the middle? No. Let's test this. So my list, we want to add node middle. We want to add new node, Hepe. And we want it to be after IJ. Crossing my fingers, hoping this works on the first try. It's better to not have it work on the first try from a teaching point of view. So I guess this is a chance to error check, but. There we go, IJ and then Hefe's after it. Looks like it worked.
Okay, so. We got a lot of node things here. We could probably condense them all down to just add node and do an all one big clusterfuck thing to like not have three different ones. Or we can go with putting in a tail and rewriting all the code. What do you guys want to do? Want to make one add node to rule them all or you want to add an extra node pointer to our class? One to rule them all. One to rule them all. You, you, you took too long, Ellie. Well, tail pointer will be useful for double. So we're going to do that anyways later. Uh, so one node to rule them all or one, one add to rule them all. Let's call it that right here. Uh, void, add node, rule them. No, just add node. So this needs to consolidate all of that shit. Before I do that, let's see what add node middle will do. Will it work on the very end? Because if it already does the very end, all we need to worry, worry about is the first one. So before I add that in there, let's test add node middle to see like, rather than doing Hefe at the end, KL's here, let's do a uh, Leisure Suit Larry here. And we'll add that after KL. KL was the last one will this effectively add node at the end? Because if so, this automatically replaces set tail. And it did. So it put it in there. So our add node end isn't necessary. That's good to know. So which one was that? That was that was set tail and get tail. So I'm gonna do a comment block on this. Isn't that the no, I'm doing the wrong one. I'm going to leave this in here because this might be useful or doubly linked. But add node middle is doing that already. So rather than why why make a whole new one called add node, let's just change the fucking name of this one to add node. Right? Why fucking make it? Why do all that shit? So let's get rid of that. Let's go down here and we'll make sure we have it right in our code. And oh shit, look at this. A lot of stuff we got to comment out. We don't need our length list set and get tail. So we'll comment all that out. And add node middle is just now add node. All right. So, so far, this works on middle and end. Now we need it to work on front. And if we do, then we've got one add node function to, or method to rule them all. All right, so paper time. Or is it as simple as looking at add node front and merging the two? Can we do that? Let's let's look at what that was. What did we do up there?
So this will, this part definitely adds it in the front. Set head temp. So we need to incorporate that kind of idea right here. So if temp equals null pointer, then it's empty. So we should probably insert it there anyways, right? That makes sense? If we have an empty list, trying to add a node after something else, even if the something else doesn't exist, maybe we can say a uh, list doesn't exist, starting new list. And then we'll do set head is arg node. Okay, that covers the empty list case. And even avoids having to search for anything. It doesn't matter. The list was empty. Okay, now. Does our method even work? Does this even work for what well, we have? Because the very concept of this method or this method is that it inserts it after something. So like if we're adding something to the front, how do we know that we actually want it to go like, if we go to AB and we're trying to put the 007 in, that's what we're trying to do. We've got A, B, C, D, E, F. We're trying to add 007 in front of it. This method is going to find AB, but it's going to do it afterwards. So maybe, here's an idea. Add a toggle input to say front or be in front of or behind. Or behind. That'll make the front node easier. Putting in the front, we'll just say, oh, you want to add it in the front? But then it makes it like, so if someone says, I want to add it in front of, and they're choose something from the middle of the list, our shit isn't going to work. So maybe that does not going to work. Any ideas on how we can make this add something in the front of a list that exists when the way we've been setting it up is we're looking to put it after something? Yeah. Like we've got our list of our Chichi train. It's there. We've got shit there. And up here, we added 007 to the front. But how do we tell it where to go? Because right now, add node is telling it to what to go after. Well, we're trying to get add node down to just a single function. Okay. You know what I mean? Right now, we're down to two. We don't, we don't need set tail. In fact, all of these could be, oh, I don't know. I still like tail because adding node at the end still means I got to tell it to go find the end thing. You know what I mean? If I try to use this add node on set tail, like putting in KL after IJ, I'm going to have to say new node I L or K. KL, and then after IJ. That seems fucking tedious. We might want to leave set tail in. Maybe I, maybe I was wrong. Maybe we're not speeding anything up by doing this.
I don't think we're saving any ground for it. I think we made shit worse. Now I gotta go un comment it. If you guys, someone comes up with an idea, we can maybe do it in a workshop on another day. But I don't know that we're gonna effectively do that. I, I think, I don't like the name set tail right now because if we add, go about and add a tail node, then this is implying do that. This was originally meant to be add node at end. So maybe we'll rename this to, we have add node front and then we'll add node end. So where's the find fucking replace up here? Control F. Yeah. So find set tail and replace it with add node end. Add node tail. End works. We've got front, middle, and end. That's the naming sounds better. Sounds sounds more consistent. That's not what I want to do. I have to tell it to do it all. Replace all. Only one occurrence replaced. That's some bullshit. <laughs> You're a goddamn liar. How about we start up here? Do I gotta put my cursor up here and do it there? Apparently it was only doing it till the end of the document. And I had my cursor near the bottom, so it didn't do it. All right, that should work. Let's assume that worked. Let's, let's well, not let's not assume, let's check. All right, that worked. Our code still works. <coughs> so let's look at adding a node tail. Maybe I need to do get tail and get node end. Come up here and make it run there. Okay. Make sure that change still works. Okay, still works. So we're gonna put in a tail so we need, uh, we'll need some avoid and set. So set tail and get tail, arg tail. Okay, so we've got some accessor methods to create for our new tail node. After, where do we want to put it? Before add node shit. I will put it down here. Fuck it. Scope these bad boys real quick. Okay. So this is just gonna send it to the end of the node. We have a get node end, don't we? Where are we? 
So maybe we'll do uh, tail. What is it tail? Equals get node end. Will that cover shit? No. Yeah, that's. And get tail is just return tail. We'll get node and work for our set. Get node end, where are you? So if it's an empty list like this, is returning it's returning the null pointer. And so tail will be null pointer. That works. And this says while temp dot get next is not null pointer. So like if we're on IJ and not KL, IJ says jump to KL and KL's got a null pointer for next. So it won't do it a jump again. KL will be the temp pointer. So it'll return this, this should work for tail. But can we, Make some of this shit easier. Does any of this code get simpler by adding in tail? Let's look at our implementation. So we got our default constructors, nothing. Setting head and getting head do nothing. Add node end. If we do add node end, we should reset the tail here. That's what needs to change. So if we do add node end, we need to set tail where are we at here so this gets us down to the end this gets us down to temp pointer Temp pointer says set next pointer equal to that, but we still just need it at arg pointer. So set tail to arg pointer. That might make this whole add node end a lot easier. But we still need it to link up. So will it? Yeah, I think we can simplify this whole fucking thing. Check this out. Let's comment this out. I got some ideas. What if we do temp pointer gets the current tail? So on paper, I think, no, I think we still need that part. That's the empty list part. So on paper, we might've made this pro problem a whole lot easier. So let's say we just had A, B, and C, D. And head is pointed here. Tail is pointed here. And we wanted to add EF. So we'll do EF in red. We're adding a node at the end. Add node end. This is when we're doing add the EF. So what I need to do is and this has already got a null pointer in it because that's how the new nodes are made. What I need to do is I need to one, connect tail to EF. 
and that will do this. And step two, make EF tail. So re redirecting the tail pointer to that. I'm off screen. Connect tail to EF, that's what this does. So temp pointer gets the tail, oh shit. Temp pointer gets, this gets CD in the picture. Sets temp to CD in on paper. And this changes CDs next to EF. And then this one makes EF the tail. So that way, each time we did it, we would just, it, it's updating where the tail is. Kind of like what we did when we did add node front. Where was add node front? Add node front, we had to do set head equals temp. Here, we're, where are we? Right here, add node end. Here, we're just saying set tail, same thing. So this is doing the same thing. I don't, what we've saved is, I don't know, this has made the code shorter, but that's the one we're not, it might speed it up. We're not having to cycle through, because like going through an array, like you would think going to like, we got an array of 5,000. You would think just going saying access array element 4,995 uh, is quicker than cycling through this list thing 4,995 times. But really when we're doing the array, it's doing this jump one at a time as well. Whereas if we just have a pointer to the end, we're avoiding that entire fucking time it takes to go through the entire fucking list. Like think big, like a big list. We don't want to have to do this cycle through, start at A, and go all the way to Z, 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 Z. That's some bullshit. This will just automatically just jump to Z, 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 and add something after it. So this, this gets rid of that. Does that help us with anything else? Does that make sense? Yeah, you're skipping the middle, man. You're just going straight yeah, to it yeah, after so that. We don't need this. And we save processing time by search by not having to search for the end. That's what we're saving by not doing that. All right. So We've got our link list, this, we've got get head, set head. Uh, we've got add node end, get node end. Should just be get tail. Right? Can I simplify this? Or just set, wait, 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 set tail use this, right? Didn't it? Yeah. Set, so I can't have them self-reference each other. Uh, so one of these has to do the cycling.
right? Where was it? Set tail. Tail equal get node end. Yeah, so we can't say get node end equals get tail. That's that they're just like referring to each other. Uh, so we we can't condense that other one down as much as it looks like it could. Maybe I'll make a note of that in there. Uh, get node end. Uh, no. Get tail refers to this. So this looping needs to be done somewhere. Okay, so that one can't change. Add node front doesn't have anything to do with tail. We don't need to worry about it. Add node here. Okay, so here's where we have a little kicker. Because remember, add node, this can do end as well. So we might want to add something to this that says, uh, where was it? Temp equals search for arg value. And we're saying argna, this is linking them. This does the link somewhere. But we should say if temp dot get next equals null pointer. Why does that not get, oh, I need parentheses. And I don't need a capital P. If temp dot get next, so we search for, we got our giant train, we got KL as the last one. We search for KL. KL is the last one, so it's going to insert like the Leisure Suit Larry after the KL. But Leisure Suit Larry needs to be the new temp. That's the scenario I'm looking at adding right here. So we've got KL, and I'm adding Leisure Suit Larry at the end. But I'm using it in the Add Anywhere one. So the, we already had this adding just fine. The question is, this is now new tail. This is the new tail. And we need to make sure we set it there too. So maybe we should say if KL's next arrow is the null, that means there was nothing after KL and we want to set tail equal to leisure suit, which was arg PTR. Let's see, what was it called? It was called arg node. So we're going to do set tail arg node. Actually, does that, does set tail do this shit already? No, tail set tail does tail equals get node end. So the way I've got to set up, I need to do this after I put it in.
So the question is, it needs to be done after, it needs to be done here. So maybe we're checking to see if this one is it. And this is our node. And this is temp. I can't, I know you can't see it. So let's put that up real quick. So temp is here, arg node is here. If arg node, maybe just if arg node dot get next is null. Not temp, but arg node. That means that we didn't connect it in the middle of the chain. If arg nodes next is null, we didn't put it in the middle. Does that make sense? Because if it's not null, if it if it's like goes to another pointer, we clearly add it in the middle of the chain. But if it doesn't point to something else, so two options. We had EF and we had GH. And if we put something in the middle, if we add it here, arg node here, our arg node next is an address. Arg node next is not null. Fuck. Can't see me in class time is fucking over. God damn it. Arg node next is not null if I put it in the middle. Arg node next is null if it's at the end of the train. Does that make sense? Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. So if so, it's in the middle, it, because it's in the middle, it's not at the end. It's not. Okay. It's not the okay. end. So we want to set that one to the tail. So in that case, we will say if arg node's next point, next get next pointer is null pointer, we'll set tail to arg node. I think this is going to work. I don't think we had anything else in here. Let's just fucking click run. Oh, motherfucker. Why didn't that work? Where did that break? I'm trying to get the zoom fucking bar out of my way. There we go. Uh, I'm just trying to read the error. Doesn't even say. What? But at which point in the code? Yeah. <laughs> at the fucking beginning. All right, time's up. <laughs> uh, we'll figure this out when we jump into doubly linked lists because we're going to use tail as part of doubly linked lists. So let's fix this. So we will fix this. We got some new shit we're putting up here. Our next class. So fix our tail adding. And then look at, let's do a doubly linked. <laughs> okay. And if anybody finds this before Wednesday and fixes it before Wednesday, let me know. So we're on our search, you said, right? Uh, right here. So it takes in a string. Add node. Let's find it here. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, let me 
put this in the announcements. Let me stop recording.